Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and in this particular video, we will see how we can protect our image files. Whenever you are sending emails out of your organization, you might have some sensitive information within the image. So how this sensitive data will get identified from your emails and will get protected. So first we will explore the logical concept of it and then we'll see how practically we can implement those. Let's imagine the HR employee scans an email, uh, you can say a batch or your ID card to send it to the vendor for a verification. So as you can see at this place, it's not just an image, it has full of information, right? Where you can see it has the full name, the government ID number, or maybe the date of birth. So these all may fall under the sensitive information. The file is still in a JPG format or the PNG format, but it has some information or you can say the sensitive information. So we need some solution that can automatically detect it and let the user know, hey, you are sending us some sensitive information outside of your organization. So here Microsoft Poview comes into the picture with the image protection and the Microsoft Poview will read the content which is being sent and it finds all the sensitive information which is inside the image like the license number or the date of birth or anything and with the help of dlp policy what we can do is we can block such emails being i mean before being sent to the externals and we'll also notify the sender that the sensitive data was detected within your emails or the scan document so here the user should not explicitly tag the document before a scanning or something it works without the user even tagging or labeling the file and the system protects it behind the scene don't need to do anything explicitly from the user side let's see how this microsoft poovy can protect those images which contains your sensitive information so it has one main component which is known as ocr optical character recognition so what exactly it does, it extracts the readable text from the images and the images that is being supported that you can see, which is JPG, PNG, BMP, TIF, almost all the image type that is being supported at this place. And we do have SIT, sensitive information type, that will basically classify those con content which got fined from the images. And then top of it, we are going to create a DLP policy. Then the DLP policy comes into the into the picture after detecting this sensitive information and depends on the policy you can block those sharing in outlook or teams and you can also show the policy tips to the user now where basically it works so we can use this in a microsoft poview data loss prevention dlp so that will works across the exchange sharepoint onedrive teams or even windows endpoints we can also integrate it and use it with the Microsoft Defender for cloud apps that monitors your files upload and shares to the cloud apps like Dropbox, Google, Google Drive and many more. And finally, we can also use with the auto labeling with the Microsoft Poview information protection. So where it will automatically label the images file with, ex, uh, you can say, extracted sensitive content. Now, the, there are a few important considerations that we need to consider before using it. As we already discussed, OCR is one of the major component that we must enable in the compliance portal. Then this OCR works only for the supported formats not the PDF images without embedded text unless rendered for the scanning. And it also works with the images embedded in emails or the documents are also being scanned with the help of this OCR and you can see Microsoft Poview. Okay, so I hope you got logical idea how actually that image protection works in Microsoft Poview. Let's see how practically we can configure it. Okay, so we logged in on a Microsoft Poview portal as compliance administrator. And before configuring OCR, means optical character recognition, because this is required when it comes to the image protection. So we must configure the or set up this Microsoft syntax pay as you go billing for this. Then only we can use the benefit of uh, OCR while scanning and protecting your images. So to get this working or how we can activate, we need to go to this Microsoft portal, Microsoft Admin Center portal. So let's get, go to that place. And that's the place where we can uh, 
ac activate and configure our OCR policies. So as you can see, we logged into this a home setup and use content AI with the Microsoft syntax. And from here, we need to set up the billing. But before coming to that place, how the uh, you can say so OCR will work and what will be the charges that we need to explore. And for that, we can go to this Microsoft uh, document, which tells you the charges for using OCR is going to be dollar one for every 1000 item is scanned. And each image is scanned counts as one transaction. This means that a standalone image like JPZ, JPG or anything, one image is one. Okay. So that document gives you the clear understanding and we will also get to know that supported location and the solution. As you can see here, we have the location that uh, can be scanned and it will find the images from this particular locations. Now let's come back and to get it set up, we just need to go to the setup as we explained. Now there we are going to click on configuration section and here you can see we have something called file and content and there you can see use content AI with the Microsoft syntax that need to be configured. If you click here, there you get this option called setup billing and you just need to click there. Here we are going to select our subscription resource group and the reason in which we want to execute. Now let's agree with the term and condition and save it. Now once it is done, as you can see, Microsoft syntax billing was set up successfully. Now we'll come back to our Microsoft Preview portal. And let's see what we can do from here. So if I let's scroll it down, there we have, we need to go to the setting section. Under the setting, you will find your optical character recognition settings. If I click here, there you will find this uh, optical character recognition and you need to enable this feature. So this must be turned on, then only it will detect the images. The moment you turn it on, it asks you to set the location and the location is exchange email, Teams chat and channel uh, and chat and channel messages from the teams. Let's apply it. As you can see, this setting is applied now and it is ready to scan the images from here. Now let's come back to the label section under the information protection and there we are going to create auto labeling. Once I'll come to this place, as you can see here, it has already created. I mean, we do have already label created Otherwise, you can create the label as per your requirement, which we already saw in previous videos. So let's explore if you are not familiar with how to create the label policy. Now let's test it. Now we logged in to the Outlook and there we are going to drop an email with the images. So for example, let's create a new email. We are sending this email to maybe Megan. And now we are setting this background check images. Here we have just published this image, this, I mean, attached this image with this mail. It's not attachment. We just pasted that image in the body of the mail message. Now, let's see what will happen. Now we are going to create another mail before coming to the final result. Let's click another mail and send some attachment that contains some images, maybe sending it to the HR, uh, employee data scan. And here we are going to attach some document. So we'll pick it from the local computer, employee data. It's a PDF that contains the emails. Let's see the preview of it. As you can see, this is one image that contains the employee data. Okay, now let's send this document to the HR. Fine. Now we have uh, attached one picture, I mean images with the mail and one in a body. Now we can also check it out from the teams. As you can see, we logged in on a teams and now we are trying to send something to some user, for example, Miriam, and there we are going to send the corporate card. That is visa card. The moment I'm sending, it depends how you have configured it. If you have created the DLP policy where, where the rule is, if someone is sending the images, it should stop sending it to anyone so if the dlp policy is created now you will see such experience you will uh, get this notification that tells you hey your message has been blocked because you're not supposed to send any images and that works on the basis of that label and the ocr that we created we can also check it out at this place where it says hey the email the message was blocked what i can do what can i do we just need to click here and there it tells you the complete this message was blocked due to the organization policy it's a credit card number and now we can either report it or 
understand this, you cannot send it. Now, similarly, if you can see at this place under this auto labeling, we have the source code auto labeling policy enabled and other rules are there. Now, if I'll go and check it out from the activity explorer, that how actually it is working. So we'll come back to the data classification and there we have activity explorer. Now inside the activity explorer, we can see what are the label activity has been taken place here. So you can see we have label applied, confirm your message post to MR, message body. And if you can scroll it down, the latest one, which we have, as you can see here, this image.png, the background check, all that got detected and we are able to see the complete detail information at this place. Employee data scan PDF, if you remember, this is what we have sent over the mail and the label got applied to that particular place. Okay, so I hope you got an idea what exactly image protection is and how it works in Microsoft Poo View. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you in next.